Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about the MR2200 AC mesh router from Synology. Now, if you already have a Synology router, especially the RT2600 AC at home set up, the MR2200 AC will work extremely well within your wireless infrastructure. So today is all about the unboxing slash first impressions, so let's get to it. So some of the highlights on the MR2200 AC has a dedicated tri-band 2.13 gigabit per second bandwidth optimized for performance. Uh, I believe this is the technology of MuMimo, which is multi-user, multiple input, multiple output. Uh, extremely easy to set up, especially with remote management if you're using the DS router app. Uh, I love the fact that it has safe access, which is the same concept as the RT2600 AC, which I did a review with you guys. Uh, you are able to create advanced VPN, web VPN, and also use Synology's SSL VPN and also SSTP VPN. Also, just like the RT2600, you have the advantage of the package center. So you are able to install other add-ons and you're also able to do a little bit of file sharing with the USB port that the MR2200 AC has. Now the hardware overview. Now I know we haven't done the unboxing as of yet, but I want to show you guys how it looks close up, a little close up. So in the front, you don't get too much. Uh, these two bars right here, the first two lines are your Wi-Fi indicator. And right here in the bottom is your status indicator. So when we boot it up, I'm assuming that this guy will change like amber. Uh, and then when it's completely booted up, it's going to change green. On the back side, we have our 3.0 USB port. This is where you can insert an external hard drive and create a file sharing system. Uh, you have your WPS button. Right next to your WPS button, you have your power button. Right next to your WPS button, you have your, uh, your toggle key, which allows you to turn off your Wi-Fi on and off. Uh, you have your LAN right here. And next to your LAN, you have your WAM. This is your power port, which allows you to hook up your power adapter to, to provide power to the mesh router. Right next to that, this is your power button right here. And right next to the power button, you have your reset button. Now some technical specifications on the MR2200 AC. It's a quad-core processor with a clock speed of 717 megahertz. For memory, it's only 256 megabytes. Uh, for the antenna type, you're going to get a 2T2R which is two transmit to receive high performance internal antennas with two frequencies. You can get a 2.4 gigahertz or the five gigahertz. It does come with MuMimo, which is a multi-user, multiple input and multiple output technology. We went over this when we did the review on the RT2600 AC. Uh, I really like this feature a lot. Uh, we went over the, some of the ports. It comes with a WAM and a LAN. Both of them are gigabit ports. Uh, you have your 3.0 USB port, which allows you to insert an external hard drive uh, to do like a file sharing. And the price tag on this guy is $139. Now, the Synology MR2200 AC mesh router works extremely well with the RT2600 AC wireless router. It goes hand in hand. It's one of those things that it will expand. It's like an extender. Now, we're going to go inside the lab. We're going to do the unboxing and see how it actually looks. Okay, so it's time for us to unbox the Synology MR2200 AC. MR basically stands for Mesh Router. And uh, yeah, the box is super plain, nothing special about it. All right, so we're gonna open this guy up and see how it looks. Okay, uh, let's open this guy up. Bam. I wanna break the box because if I break the box, then I don't wanna pay for it. This is a review unit that Synology sent me. So I can test it out for you guys. And let's see how it looks. All right, so this guy, the first thing that you're going to see is the mesh router. Let's get it out of here. I don't wanna break the box. And let's see, there we go. Yeah, the little uh, stands is what locks it in the box. You have your quick installation guide. I'm definitely gonna look into this because I have the slightest clue what I'm doing. You have your power adapter. And you have your ethernet cable, real short ethernet cable. I'm definitely not going to be using this because I'm gonna use one of the ones I have. And that's it. Again, this guy doesn't have any external antennas. Uh, the antennas are built inside the mesh router. 
Wow, this guy is super small. The mesh router can be configured as a access point or a regular router. The way that we are going to be using the 2200 AC or the MR2200 AC is hooking it up with the RT2600 because this guy works extremely well with that. If you already have an RT2600 AC implemented within your home and you get a mesh router, this will increase the range of your wireless throughout your house. That's what we're gonna do. And wow, super small, cool, cool, cool. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the back, plug it in, power it on. Uh, again, the status indicator is right here in the front. And once it's powered on, I'm gonna start configuring it within my RT2600 AC infrastructure and see how well that works out. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so I have the Synology 2200 AC or the MR for mesh router already hooked up with the power cable in the back and it's actually connected to a surge protector and I haven't turned it on as of yet but right next to where you insert the power cable is your power button it's a toggle key this uh, Ethernet or RJ45 port is your WAM this is your LAN you have your WPS uh, your USB which allows you to add a um, I believe like an external file share system like an external hard drive and I think this little guy right here is your reset button so this guy right here this guy reset all right so the way that I'm going to configure it is two ways that you could configure it you could have um, a laptop and connect to this wireless now I already have the RT 2600 AC in place so I'm going to add this one as an access point so the way that I'm going to do it is using the app rather than using a laptop because I think the app is so powerful. Now you got to make sure that your phone is hooked up to your RT2600 AC wireless router. Download the app and then once you launch it, which I'm going to launch it right now, it's going to start connecting and then you're good to go. All right. So that's launched up. I'm actually going to turn this guy on all the way in the back. Just power it on we're gonna give it some time for it to power on and then the next step is to go inside the DS router app and add the 2200 AC within my network to expand my uh, my wireless okay so the way that you know that this uh, particular mesh router is fully loaded is one I've noticed that the little blue guy is going to blink these two bars are your wireless signal and also if you have a laptop and you search for a wireless access point you're going to see Synology with the serial number okay so we are going to get inside the app and add this uh, mesh router all right guys so it's time for us to configure our Synology MR2200 AC uh, the way that I'm going to be configuring it is using the DR router app within the iPhone uh, the MR2200 AC works extremely well if you already have an RT2600 AC router uh, from Synology within your infrastructure. The MR2200 and the RT2600, when they're combined within your wireless infrastructure, it's amazing. Uh, the way that I kind of envision this or the way that I can explain it the best is that the RT2600 AC is like your controller and the MR2200 AC is your access points. So if you have multiple MR2200 ACs, which they're not that expensive, I think 140 bucks. And I think in B&H, you're able to get two of them for like 232 or something, right? This allows you to expand your wireless. So if you live in a big home and you have your primary router in a specific location, when you're walking away from it, eventually you're going to get a, uh, a weak signal. So why not grab one of these guys and wherever you're getting a, a weak signal, you drop it in that location to expand your wireless, right? Now how to add the MR2200 AC within your infrastructure. Now I'm using the app and I'm using an iPhone. First thing that you need to do is download the app, right? Make sure that your iPhone or the Android device is part of your network, okay? You're gonna open the app. Eventually, the app is going to load up and give you this nice little overview dashboard of your RT2600 AC, right? From here, you are able to click on the menu 
click on it, you get a nice little sub menu. And the option that you want is a Wi Fi point. So click on Wi Fi point. Uh, we're going to click on the add now. You're going to get a nice little wizard uh, explaining what a Wi Fi point is. So click on next. Uh, wi Fi point needs to be ready. So you got to make sure it's powered on and loaded up. And you're going to click on Wi Fi points ready. And it's going to start searching. That's the cool thing. Now, the way that you know that this guy is completely loaded is that this LED has to be solid green. Okay. That's how you know it's up and running and it's broadcasting its SSID uh, to the internet world. You are, it does allow you to access it. Once it searches for the Wi Fi point, it's going to locate this. So this is the MR2200 AC. Uh, it goes by the serial number. So if you look at the device, the 5J223H is the serial number, right? All the way to the end. That's how you know which access point you're configuring. What you want to do is click on next. From here, you are able to change the name. Uh, it does provide you the model name, serial number, and the uptime of how long it's been up and running. We click on next. I left it as the default name and I clicked on add now. It takes a while for it to load up. It's going to start connecting, applying any network settings from your RT2600 AC to the specific Wi Fi point. It's going to start updating and the Wi Fi needs to restart, which means it's working. So click on apply. And what's being restarted is actually the access point. It's not the RT2600 AC. Okay. So once that's done, your SSID is going to be the same that's being broadcast within your RT2600 AC environment. The only thing is when you're walking away uh, from your household where the router is located and your signal starts getting weak, uh, the location where, you know, you're having a weak signal, if you have this, this is going to automatically put you inside the BTN HD or whatever your SSID network name is because it's being expanded, right? And you're still going to get the same strength and everything. So that's pretty cool, right? And from here, you're going to click ready to go. It's going to start loading up and it's going to say setup is completed. Press OK. OK, so the Synology MR2200 AC is processing right now. So if you look at the app, it's still doing its thing. I'm assuming it's updating itself. But it's going to constantly do this. Once it's solid, I'm assuming it's done. And then you're able to take it to another location in your household to expand your wireless connection. So right now it's been doing that for a couple of minutes. And the app right now is just saying processing. So it's one of those waiting games until it's completely done. All right. So it's just got to be patient. All right. So if you're patient, you walk away from it and you come back eventually, you're going to see solid lines. You got to understand this guy right here is your LED indicator for the entire device. And these two bars are your signal strength on your wireless. Now, if you're looking at the DS router app, when it was saying processing, it's going to change to healthy. And then you're going to see all your little bars. So this is the router. How awesome is that? That's so cool. Right now, the signal strength is strong. The link rate is 866.7 millibits per second. I'm telling you, uh, if you have a strong pipeline, you're going to get that fast internet. You're going to get that fast wireless. This is awesome. I don't have any devices connected to it as of yet. But uh, that's it. Cool. All right, guys. So I'm going to end it as... Um the device itself works extremely well if you are joining it within your RT2600 AC uh, Synology router environment. If you already have that in place, this will work hand in hand with no problem. Don't get me wrong, uh, this guy can be its own little router, but if you really want to take advantage of the power of the 2200 AC, add it inside an RT2600 AC router environment. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is when you're holding it, I pressed the reset button a couple of times. So like when you're grabbing it this way, like I grabbed it a couple of times this way, I'm always pressing the WPS button or I hit the reset button a couple of times, which kind of sucks because then it resets and I have to reconfigure it. So you got to be careful how you're grabbing it. All right. If you're grabbing it this way, you're definitely going to hit, hit that reset button or hit that WPS button. 
all right and then the power button is like right there so you have to be careful how you're holding it if you're holding it if you're grabbing it or moving it just hold it this way and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this uh review slash configuration slash many things with the synology mr2200 ac uh, leave comments right below. I would love to know how's your infrastructure. Are you using wireless access points? Are you using an extender? What are you using at home for your wireless system? Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.